Hi guys, welcome back to another quarantine series workout. I had a special request for this one. So I know some of you guys have a little bit of equipment lying around home. So if you have a circle band or a regular resistance band that you can tie into a circle, now is the time to grab that and put it to use to get seriously sculpted inner and outer thighs with this bar workout. If you don't have a band, no worries, you can still totally do this and you will definitely feel the burn. So go ahead, grab a mat and a chair for balance and let's get cracking. Okay, so if you've got a band, we're going to use it for the duration of the workout. So grab that little guy, step on into it. These two because as soon as they like fold up, they're useless and you have to like re. Oh no, what have I done? Okay, hopefully that will stay in place. Fingers crossed. So the band is going to go a few inches above the knees, so like maybe three to four inches. Sorry, we'll convert it to centimeters if you're on metric. I'm still not. And you're just going to start with it there. So we'll come to a first position, heels together here, toes are turned out, everything nice and tucked and tight, and we'll start from a roll away. So we're actually not gonna use that chair just yet. So I can come into the center. We will get to it. So just keep everything squeezed nice and tight. That band is not going to be doing a whole lot yet, but just you wait. It's coming and you'll wish that it hadn't. No, I actually really enjoy these bands, so I was glad that somebody wanted to, to see how to use them. Um, I don't use them that often in videos and things just because I think a lot of people don't have them, but you know, you can still do this workout whether you have them or not. And if you do have them, it's just like a fun way for you to see what you can do with it. So remember, you're squeezing the butt super, super tight. The band is kind of a nice reminder on these railways to just keep everything squeezed in tight because sometimes we do forget that as we lift up and everything will just kind of like fly out. So we should be feeling or starting to feel a nice little burn just going up the back of the legs all the way to the glute for three, two, and one. Heels stay down now and we'll take it to a demi plie. So now you are going to start to feel that band a little bit. Remember, knees trap wide here, heels stay down, and just press the knees open as much as you can. A little bit harder than it normally is, obviously, if you've got that band there, because you're working with a little bit of resistance. And just so you guys know, this is, if you get like the resistance bands like this, usually they come in like a set of three, maybe more, I don't know. This one that I'm using is a medium resistance. Um, that is fine, it's all well and good. I think for lower body, typically I prefer the strong resistance because they're strong muscles. You can probably do a little bit more intense. Um, I just don't have that one right now. <laughs> that one is not in quarantine with me. So I'm using the one that I have, but you can use any of those resistances. I would say light for lower body is maybe a little bit too easy. So I go at least medium. But you know, try it out. We're going to high reps. So who knows? By the end of this, I could regret like using this one. But I also don't have my light one anymore because that one broke a long time ago. So this is my only option. Go for a three. It really is a satisfying feeling though. Two and one. Stay down here. I just want you to press knees out. Out, out. So just starting to warm into those inner and outer thighs a bit. And that is the theme of this routine. So we're gonna be hitting it in all kinds of ways. I like a good, I like a good inner thigh workout though, for like leading into maybe short season, I don't know, maybe stay at home season, maybe stay at home life. But I guess, you know, if you've got like mirrors and stuff in your house, maybe you want to see like your nice toned legs in the mirrors anyway, just for your own appreciation. And a few more here. Let's do six, five, four, three, two, one. From that demi plie all the way up to releve. So demi plie, releve, 
Demi plie, releve. Wee! You're just like a little jack in the box here. So once again, I'm trying, I'm trying this out again. I'm filming. The cats have not been quarantined. Still can't guarantee that you're gonna see them. Like I, I really thought you would see Luna because like 10 minutes ago she was in here going absolutely nuts. And then like I started filming and now she's gone to sleep. So I don't know. I guess the cats are just really bored by my videos. Here's four, three, two, and one. Good. So now, if you are using something for balance here, come up closer to that. We'll still be working from a first position, so heels together, toes turned out. Now we're gonna lift the heels, heels stay up. We'll take a full plie here. So knees press nice and wide, open it wide, squeeze back up. I can tell this is where my band is just gonna give up on me and roll up. When using these bands too, there's certain like, certain like textures of legging that they really don't play well with. This is, I think this is one of the ones they play better. Um, like if you have the really sort of like slippery leggings, they will not stay in put. Would not recommend. Pro tip, don't use a circle band with those like really slippery leggings. Um, probably wouldn't recommend, I mean they do I think okay to like bare legs, but they kind of like hurt because it's like a big rubber band around your legs. So like it pulls out like the hairs and stuff. And I know we haven't been like super prioritizing hair removal during quarantine. Um, so I would say this kind of like more like soft textured legging is the, the preferred when using a circle band. So many things you didn't know you had to think of these things. But uh, yeah, I'm here to tell you that you do. That band just adds a little, just adds a little something. So yeah, if normally when you do these, you're like, but I don't feel my inner thighs. Well, how about now? We're still keeping butt tucked, back flat. Of course, that always remains the case. Here's four, three, Two, stay low on one. Now you bring the knees in, press out. So we're going pretty big here. In, out, in, out. Navel, of course, is tucked and tight. Shoulders are relaxed. You could do this with no source of balance other, well, other than your strong core and strong legs. If you're using balance, you know, I always say, if you get like two fingertips, that's it, because weight is here in the legs which you should be feeling. Just pressing as wide as you can. Oh, hello, circle band. Hello, hello. Ooh. So I know that you guys are enjoying these bar routines um, just because analytics tell me that those tend to get the most hits, the most views, I guess. Um, so if you do enjoy these kind of shorter bar routines, come check out, come check out my full length virtual classes. So I'm doing full length virtual bar classes um, and Pilates three times a week. So be sure to check those out as well. I will leave information linked down below. Go for three, two, last one and we pulse it out. So yeah, you don't have to worry about anything. I got the music. It's fun, good music, because we don't have to deal with like YouTube copyright issues. Um, yeah, I got the music. I got a full routine, so it's all total body, and they are brutal. They're brutal, but you feel so good afterwards. So come, come and play. Keep pulsing it here. Ooh, ooh, just a little wiggles. Now I'm feeling it. Now I'm feeling it. We're gonna go till we like cannot go anymore. 
So just because we're feeling it isn't like time to stop. It's time to like really get into it. Lean in, lean in now. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. So just keeping those knees nice and wide. Ah! The hard thing with this, I think this pulse is actually the hardest because we're just holding the knees at the maximum here and that band is working so hard to pull it in. But we cannot resist. Yes, resist. That is my battle cry. Keep pulsing here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up, down. Okay, so just give it a quick little shake out there and then we're gonna get some more outer thighs now with this next one. So band stays in place. I'm gonna take a little half step forward here to show you. Um, keep the chest nice and lifted, shoulders down. Outside leg, you're going to wrap around here. So it's going to be pretty much in line with the front heel. Top of the foot is out to the side, okay? So we're rotating open there, still keeping hip forward. So find that big squeeze in the glute. We're going to exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So I'm gonna keep doing this, but I'm gonna turn this way just so I can actually like properly lift here and not have the wall in my way. So nice long leg there, toes are pointed, and just lift as high as you can against that resistance band. Keeping navel drawn in, of course, I don't even need to say it anymore. Don't even need to say it. So happy Monday. Another week in quarantine if you're, uh, if you're here in Spain with me. How, how are you holding up out there? Yeah. <laughs> I can't lie, this last week was like when I was just like, I'm so done. I'm so done with this. So yeah, if you're, if you're in that boat too, yeah, I, I feel you, I feel you. Keep lifting here. And go for four, three, two, keep it up on one, and pulse. So try to only move that leg. Everything else is still here. So just really focusing. It's so hard because it's such a like small little, little area you're trying to engage, but just focus the mind right there. Try to make that do all of the work. Don't let anything else tap in. So it might be really small. Keep that leg straight, keep the turnout. I'm saying all these things to like remind myself, like do all this checklist, checklist. And pulse there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From there, I want you to open the knee up, take the, the foot to the back of your standing leg, and then you're gonna extend it just where it was. So it's gonna wrap back around, we pull it open, wrap back around. I'll show you from the front as well, just to give you another look at it. So we're all the way back here. We wrap it in, knee is open wide, Ex <laughs> extend, there we go. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna turn back in here now. You get, you get the idea, um, just because I can't extend into the wall there. I complain about this wall a lot. I complain about this apartment a lot. Um, things I've realized being in quarantine, I do not want to spend another day in our current apartment. We are looking at moving in about a month and like that feels very far off right now, very far off. So yeah, you guys were like really happy with your homes and, uh, and just enjoying this. <laughs> You know, think of, think of others who are like, uh, you know, not enjoying it so much. We're, we're basically like in a completely interior apartment, so that's why the lighting is always like quite dim. Um, we don't really get any natural light or airflow. We do not have heat um, or air conditioning.
conditioning out. I feel like air conditioning doesn't really matter to me, but we don't have heat. Go for one more here, and then keep it back. A little micro bend, extend. Um, and recently, and this is my personal favorite, we have moths. So if you've ever had to deal with moths, and like I don't mean just like a few moths here and there, I mean like we have a moth infestation. We've been here for almost like four years in this apartment, and this is like new. This is a new development. So I don't know where these came from, how to get rid of them. If you have any tips for how to get rid of them, let me know. Go for four, three, two, one, and release. Because the issue is we can't really do like an extermination because, uh, well, because of the cats, I don't want to do anything like toxic, but I mean, also because of us, the humans who live here, like, I'd rather not do like really toxic things. Um, so, yeah, extermination is not ideal. Also, for moths, it doesn't really work. Um, so, go ahead, switch sides here. Leg comes behind, we'll lift and lower. So, like, if you've ever had an experiment like in a professional extermination before you know that you have to like hack away like any kind of textiles and things like that so that would be like bedding clothing etc the type of moths that we are battling are clothing moths um, so if we pack away the clothing like the thing that we actually would need to be exterminated would not even get exterminated. So extermination is not going to work. Um, mothballs, same, they're toxic. I don't want to do it. I don't want to touch that. Um, they're not great for your clothes because they're toxic. Also, if a cat got a hold of them, eh -eh. Um, So yeah, so we're looking for like natural solutions. Um, apparently like freezing and heating works, but it's just like, it's such a big problem that I don't know how to like, I don't know, I don't know how we're ever gonna like clear out all of them because as long as you have like one female laying eggs, I know, super gross. As long as you have one female laying eggs, like you have a problem. And like, I don't know how we're ever gonna get all of them. And I'm worried about move it, moving with moths and just like taking them with us to a new apartment. Ugh. So yeah, if you've ever dealt with moths and have any pro tips, please let me know. Right now we're doing like cedar, because allegedly like cedar is the only natural thing that actually like kills the eggs. <laughs> um, so we've got like the cedar like blocks, and then also cedar essential oil. I've got space bags. You want to know if those kill them? So if I like seal stuff that in case it has it on it already, like. If I seal it, will it kill it because there's no air? I don't know. Ugh, they're the worst. Truly the worst. Anyway, <laughs> so that's my moth rant. Um, I know that <laughs> in past videos, I've talked about other pests I hate, namely cockroaches. Um, I would say, God, I really hate roaches. Keep it up and pulse here. I would say that moths are approaching roach status for me. I would still say I hate roaches a little bit more, which is kind of ridiculous because like they're actually harmless, but so disgusting. Um, so I would say that roaches for me are number one worst, and then moths, but moths are gaining. Keep pulsing here. All right, back, back to our pulsing. <laughs> I had to run and grab, grab the door. We were having an Amazon delivery. Um, and I am currently <clears throat> at home alone filming. So if we miss the Amazon delivery, cat. <laughs> if we miss the Amazon delivery, we miss the Amazon delivery. And it was a somewhat important Amazon delivery. So we're still back here pulsing. This is Leo. Say hi to Leo. Hi, buddy. He got a little bit excited about the Amazon delivery. He was sleeping in his little bunk bed, but got a little excited. And go for five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna open to the side, so again, that knee turns out, and then wrap it around, extend long. Open to the side, wrap around, X 
them on. So I'll just give you a little refresher here again, just from that front angle, wrap it around, whoop, extend, bring it in, wrap it behind, extend. So going at as high an angle as you can there while still keeping chest lifted. So you don't want to be doing a big tilt forward. Well, that might be all you get from Leo. <laughs> He's just pushed that door open, said hello, and then got about his business. So that's Leo. Luna's still sleeping in the other room. They have been peak crazy. Yeah. So like last couple of nights, 4 a.m., time for cats to go crazy. Yeah, it's been a great week. Go for four, clearly, three, two, and keep it long on one, and little tiny bend, extend. But I know, I know a lot of you guys feel this way, and I definitely do. If, uh, <laughs> if I'm having like a really bad day, week, etc. Um, Sometimes it can be really difficult to get the motivation to work out because it's just kind of like, oh, why does it matter? I just want to sit here and wallow. But I also know that as soon as I do work out, I feel a lot better. So I hope that works for you guys too. I hope these workouts are making your days a little bit better. At least, you know, you feel productive. You're doing something for yourself. You're taking a moment. So yeah, I hope that helps just a little bit. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, so if you're using a chair, get that out of here. I'm just gonna go ahead and close <laughs> the door again. And we'll take it down to the mat. So we'll come down onto one side here. This is an oldie but goodie. Clamshells, I know we do a lot of clamshells, but we're doing it with the band, so it's a little bit different here. So go ahead, rest all the way down here. Knees are bent, hips are stacked, navel drawing in. And then let's point the toes here. We'll keep toes together. Exhale open, inhale close. I mean, you have not done a clamshell until you've done a banded clamshell. A banded clamshell is like the true clamshell, the ultimate clamshell, what dreams are made of. So get a load of that clamshell. The other thing actually that I really like about using the band for clamshells is that sometimes when you're doing your clamshell um, without a band, you so badly want to open up that clamshell that there's like the tendency to like rock back and open the hips. This band, it says no to that. So it's going to keep things in line, which is awesome, but you're still getting more resistance. It's really great. It's really great like that. So keep just opening and closing here. Exhale on that open. You can take the top hand to the navel and just make sure that you're staying really tucked and tight there. I often like to do that just as like a little, little reminder. Note to self. And let's do four, three, two, and one, so keep it open. I want you to extend, kick up, touch back down. So it's just gonna be a little whoop, touch the toes together, whoop, touch toes together. Yeah, so it's a little bit hippier than we normally go. Normally I tell you guys, just kick out forward, keep the hips stacked. We're actually gonna open up the hips slightly in this one, so it is a little bit open. You're bringing it toward you. Oh, my band can't handle it. Stay band. Sit. Stay. And give me four, three, two, last one. Keep it up and just pulse, pulse. Whoo, hello. Are you feeling that crampy feeling? Not a real cramp, but, but feels like one. Are you feeling that? I hope so. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! 
that was an ugly noise. That was a very ugly noise. I'm sorry, but that was like what that brought out of me in that moment. Go ahead, flip it around here. Sometimes you just can't help it. You can't fight the strange sounds you make when you're working out. I mean, you could, but why would you? Why would you when you're just like at home alone? You can make whatever sounds you want to make. So open and close. Second side. Might feel a little bit of that top oblique as well. So I would say that's why I really enjoy working like the sides or the corners of the body because you tend to get everything. So it's a good, good multitasker. In case you're wondering what my Amazon delivery was, it is it's some really exciting stuff. Um, actually, there should be a few things in there. We are waiting on another essential oil, grapefruit essential oil. So I like to diffuse oils, and also that's supposed to be good for um, combating moths. Um, there's also a, uh, a really exciting mattress protector in there, because we got a new mattress, so gotta protect it. Um, and there's also, oh, the, the most wonderful, exciting thing, the joy of having two cats, there is like a cat-like enzyme cleaner thing for, you know, when the cats decide that it's a real bang up idea to pee outside of the litter box, and like if you've ever had cats or lived with cats, you know that cat pee is a strong, strong scent. So only the enzyme cleaners truly like get in there and break it down. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the exciting delivery. Basically the theme is like home goods, imagine. What new items have you bought for your home while in quarantine? A few more here, and then we'll go for that kick. All right, keep it open here, and you're gonna whoop and touch. Whoop, toes touch back there. Knees, they stay open. I have many more home items I would like to get, but I'm also like, no, that doesn't make any sense because like we're going to move and then I'll get new things. But I'm like, why would I get a bunch of stuff now that I'll just have to like move with? Moving is the best opportunity to like clear things out too. Um, I'm not like overly sentimental. I'm not overly attached to like a lot of our things. So like our couch, for example, we've had for a while now and it is massacred because once again, cats. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, I probably would not be super sad to just like donate that and say goodbye and get a new couch that the cats can massacre. A new one to start fresh. Last one here, keep it up and pulse. I was looking at like couches and stuff online. I was like, oh, I really wanna get like a really nice, looking couch and I thought about it, I was like there's really like there's no point because like with two cats like don't don't buy something that you're really gonna get attached to because guess what it's gonna get destroyed give me six five four three two one and release unless you have better behaved cats Okay, here we go. Here's another thing. While you're down there commenting about how to get rid of moths, also let me know how you train your cats to not just scratch everything. Like, I really don't know. Because I'm going to be honest, we're kind of like pushover parents, cat parents. So on your back, your feet are coming nice and wide. We're going for a really wide bridge. So exhale, lift, squeeze, inhale, touch. This is our final series of exercises. But yeah, we're kind of pushover cat parents. <laughs> like, we feel bad about like disciplining them and stuff. Um, so like, I don't know. So we just don't really discipline them. And yeah, like we, I mean, also we sound like the worst cat parents right now. We're just like, yeah, the cats are just like running wild, scratching the, the couch and peeing everywhere. Um, yeah, pretty accurate. 
Um, no, they are really great. I love, I love these cats. They are truly excellent. I'm so glad that we have them. But like, how do you stop them from scratching things? What do you do? What is your secret? Is it too late? I don't know. Go for four, three, two, keep it up on one. And guess what? We're gonna press out, out, out. I mean, I know a lot of people whose like cats don't scratch everything, but, and I find it fascinating. I'm just like, how have you achieved that? What dark magic? They have like, you know, they have like their scratching posts and like weird scratching cardboard things and like assorted like designated scratching surfaces, but they don't want their designated scratching surfaces. Their favorite thing to scratch is the couch. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Keep it wide there, pulse butt up. So you are just pressing the knees as wide as you can now and just doing little pulses here. This is our final push. Final push. And then we get to say chow chow to that circle band. Till you do this workout again. <laughs> Go for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Finally, the band has been wanting to just roll its way off this entire time, and finally it can. There you go. Hug the knees into the chest here. We're gonna go for one of the. Uh, I think, I think this one's a real crowd pleaser. The happy baby. So you're gonna grab outer arches of the feet. Make sure you're keeping. Full back, press down into the mat. Feet just open up here. I know it's a goofy looking one, but whatever you guys are at home, does it matter? Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. So keeping tailbone down here, shoulders down, feet are up to the ceiling. You got legs wider, happy baby. Do your little, you can take a little rock side to side. You can do your little happy baby giggle, which normally I do, but I don't know, for some reason I'm feeling really weird about just doing my happy baby giggle in this like room by myself. I don't know, <laughs> that feels like a step too far. <laughs> Take the soles of the feet together, let the feet just come down to the mat, so knees are just dropping open, you should feel inner thighs, those guys, those guys right there. Oh. If you wanna press down a little extra, you can just make sure the lower back stays down on the mat here. And then bring the knees together, hug, ooh, hug knees into the chest, take a little rock, forward and back, up to a seated position. That is you guys done. I hope you enjoyed that routine and weren't too put off by all the really disgusting like moth talk. Sorry about that. I won't do it in the next one. So check out another one. It'll be free of moths. Um, so in the meantime, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button so that you can catch all the future videos that don't mention moths. And I will see you back in the next one. Bye.